Yo guys! So how does a two-year-old Nexus 5 compare to this year's Nexus 5X? Let's check it out. Okay guys, on the left we have the Nexus 5X and on the right we have the Nexus 5. As you can see, the Nexus 5 has sustained some damage throughout its lifetime. Don't worry, this does not impact the performance in any way. So let's boot up both devices. Both of them are running stock Android 6.0 Marshmallow. Okay, so as you can see, the Nexus 5 booted faster. Keep in mind that the Nexus 5X does have a forced encryption, so that will impact the boot up time. So like I mentioned, both devices are running Android 6.0 Marshmallow, and both are on the same Wi-Fi network. Let's use some benchmarks on the app opening speed test. We're going to begin with the Antutu benchmark. The Nexus 5X is running this in 32-bit mode, just to match the 32-bit CPU on the Nexus 5. Okay, and the results are in, and as you see, the Nexus 5X scored significantly higher than the Nexus 5. Now, I do want to mention, on the Nexus 5, the Antutu benchmark actually crashed twice. I have no idea why, they're both on the same version, they're both updated, so maybe just something with Marshmallow and the Nexus 5 they had to fix. So maybe the low score could be because the benchmark couldn't finish. Like I said, I tried it two times and it kept crashing, so we're going to keep with these scores as far as Antutu. But in any case, as you can see, the Nexus 5X does score higher than the Nexus 5. Next, we're going to do the 3D Mark benchmark, which will stress the GPU on both devices. Okay, and the results are in, and as you can see, the Nexus 5X scored higher than Nexus 5, not by much though, 1080 versus 955. Now keep in mind, the Snapdragon 808 does have an aggressive thermal throttling, so this definitely will make an impact considering that we first ran an Antutu benchmark, and then the big cores are being turned off for this benchmark comparison, so that'll probably make an impact within this benchmark. Okay, finally, let's run Geekbench 3. Again, Nexus 5X scored higher. Not much in a single score, a lot higher in a multi-score. So as you can see, as far as benchmarks, Nexus 5X definitely has a big lead over Nexus 5. But let's see how this compares in regular app opening speed test. Let's start with the Facebook app. One, two, three. Okay, both open at the same time. Let's do YouTube. Nexus 5, slightly faster. Play music. At the same time. Let's try a game, Fallout Shelter. Okay, both were at the same time again. Now let's do a Wi-Fi speed test. I'm first going to start off the Nexus 5X. Okay, now let's switch over to Nexus 5. Interestingly enough, Nexus 5 got a slower download and upload speed versus the 5X. I actually do notice this in everyday use because I feel like Nexus 5X seems to be a little bit quicker when accessing Wi-Fi versus Nexus 5. Again, your results could vary. Alright, finally, let's open up this Google Camera app on both devices. They both open at the same time, with this preview happening on the Nexus 5. So guys, this has been a comparison of the Nexus 5 versus the 5X, as far as performance, speed tests, and Wi-Fi. When it comes down to it, both devices are really good. With Nexus 5X, you are getting an increase in performance, despite having a little bit less RAM, but the performance is definitely there and noticeable. However, it comes down to whether Nexus 5X is a $300 upgrade. It might be for some, might not be for others. So guys, definitely leave your comments down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to head over to Twitter and follow me at DaveBBen. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.